Hello, greatness. You are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host. And now, let's welcome Dr. Vincent Alpong. Hello, hello. I thank God for your life and I bless God for how far He has brought us. We finished the first book, um, Christ in You, by Joseph Berner. It was 45 lessons broken into three parts. So if for any reason you did not. Um, go through that or you have not gone through that please you can check that um i'll put the first lesson of that um in the description or on the top um you know showing up on the top on the youtube um channel um but i want to say that it's not a prerequisite um to this one it's two separate books but all by the same author. Um, He has some great content and I feel burdened to share with all of you because it's been a great blessing to me. Um, And so um, please do well to check that out. And the next book we are going to be tackling um, for the next maybe couple days, I think we should be able to finish this in a week. Um, is the way out, the way out. So this particular lesson here is just going to be an introduction and then we will go through all the um, the different lessons in there. It's going to be, um, again, um, seven, I think eight lessons in there, eight lessons. So we should be able to finish that in a week. And then we will take another book um, as we go forward. So quickly, this is an introduction and then we'll go to lesson number one, which will, which is the law, the law. But here is the introduction. So uh, The Way Out was originally published with another book of Joseph Berner called The Way Beyond, The Way Beyond. We know that with many finances are often a problem. All followers of Jesus Christ should learn the law, which if obeyed, will enable them to rise out of all conditions of lack, of limitations, of inharmony, of disease, and unhappiness that may manifest. And again, this is the main reason why I decided to go through the books of Joseph Berner with all of you out here. Because we all know, especially as Christians, that sometimes it looks like we have these desires. We read them in scripture and yet it looks like they don't manifest in our life. We are not able to see it. Especially most of my people from Africa, you, we pray, right? But it looks like the manifestations of our prayer is missing. But I believe the scriptures when the Lord said that I will give you the keys to the kingdom. Right? Keys to the kingdom. That means that there are keys. There are secrets. There are, there are tools that when you lay hold on them, certain things that have been, has been locked up out and from you, you begin to unravel them, right? And so please, I want you to join this journey. This is not just posting on YouTube or on these other places just for fun or just to get subscribers and all of those things. Those are long-term things. But the main goal, the core of this is that as a pastor, I have seen so many people struggling, right? Right? And yet, they are praying. What is the secret? There is a way out. 
there is a way out. So he said, you ask if this is really possible and if there is a law which if obeyed will enable us to accomplish all that. We say emphatically, there is such a law and that you can be free from the fear and dominance of money that you can have an abundance of all good things, that you can be well and happy and can bring about an adjustable or an adjustment into perfect harmony to all the departments of your life. If you want these things enough to train yourself, and that is a key right there, if you want these enough to train yourself to obey this law, then you can have them. You may say that you would do anything to obtain such wonderful blessings if it is humanly possible. And I hope that is your confession. It is not only possible, but everyone who is filled with such a desire can do it. For know a great truth that you are permitted to be in such unhappy conditions by your higher self solely in order that you may seek and gain the knowledge. That means that the unhappiness in our life is to prompt us to begin to seek. Yeah. To begin to seek. And that was my story. The, the unsatisfaction in my life is what prompted me to begin to seek. He said that There is a great truth that you are permitted to be in such unhappy conditions by your higher self solely in order that you may seek and gain the knowledge, the power and the ability to control them in order to free yourself forever from them and to assume your true place in life and therein receive the heritage of good that is here for you whenever you become wise and strong enough to claim it and to use it for the good of others and not for selfish ends. So first, I want you to know that it is all a matter of consciousness. It is all a matter of consciousness. For as a great man once said, and the foundation for all expression is in consciousness. Hmm. And I think in the near future, we will go through some of the books from this man. Um, the foundation for all expression is in consciousness. He said that I want you to know that it is all a matter of consciousness. What are you conscious of? And that you, yourself alone, are to be blamed for these conditions. For you alone created them and are firmly holding them in your consciousness. Or they would not be so plainly manifested. All this we are taught in those great words. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We know that. You have heard this stated perhaps so many times before and so often that it may have become an old story. Some of you have tried to prove it and to rid your consciousness of all your negative thoughts. But because it took determined and persistent effort, you soon grew tired. Mm -hmm. On an account of the strong opposition met with, and you then drop back into the current of the old conditions. And if anything became more helpless than you were before. My goodness. So he's saying that many people try when you hear these and it hits your spirit. You aggressively try to get rid of these negative consciousness. So that you can gain a positive consciousness of the true self or your true identity. And because of the much effort you put in, when you hit an opposition, you begin to dwindle down. And that is the story of so many people. We've all been through that. But there is a way out. I want you to remember that. 
I will keep saying it. There is a way out. Others may have heard of the saying, but it did not impress them, for they could not accept the assertion that any of the inharmonies in their lives are the result of their own beliefs or of their past thinking crystallized into beliefs. Right? Some people too cannot bring themselves to that place of accepting that hmm, they have a part to play. They think it's a witch, it's a demon somewhere. It is God who is, you know, determining the complete outcome of their life and they have nothing in their own power to do or to change anything. And so they just leave it in the hands of destiny. They prefer to be to blame it all on someone else or even God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The main trouble with almost everyone is that they do not realize how many negative and destructive beliefs they are carrying around with them in the subconscious realms of mind. And which creep through into the conscious mind whenever it is free from interest in other things. Mm. Until you can begin to steady your mind and watch for and note these negative beliefs when they come and you will find that they are actually beliefs and refuse them further support there is not much hope for you let me take that part again he said until you can begin to steady your mind if we call it um let me create my own word here mindology right <laughs> you have to start studying your own mind and watch it and take note of all the negative beliefs when they come. Then you will begin to find that they are just beliefs. They are conversations you are having with yourself. And you don't have to accept them. They are things that other people believed and they are trying to transfer them to you. And you don't have to accept them. When you refuse them, further support then you will see results if not there is not much hope for you in fact it is the first thing you must learn to do this has should have been the first thing we all learn to do to be able to monitor our mind and the things that comes in and out hmm. those who are too mentally lazy to do such watching and controlling of their thoughts are usually the ones who will not accept that their own thinking and beliefs create for them all of the conditions now manifesting in their lives. Hmm. But it makes no difference whether you accept it as being true or not. This is the law. My goodness. This is the law. And thus, I'll see you in the next lesson, the law, where we talk about what this law is and how we can find our way out. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Again, lesson number one, the law. This is just the introduction of the way out. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share it, invite somebody, tell a friend to 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 tell a friend, tell a friend that there is a way out, out of the misery, out of the disappointment, out of the hurt, out of the, 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 the heartbrokenness, out of the struggles, out of the difficulties. And that way is what we are learning and we will continue next um, tomorrow. God willing, and I'll see you there. Have a great one. Bye-bye.
You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.